well cute jokes about haircut and beard now. Done. Now about the review. This is actually one of the highest rated games on Steam in history. Telling that this game has overwhelmingly positive reviews is simply an understatement. People seem to just insanely love this game. And yes, today in this video we're gonna be talking about Hades and whether it is worth it to purchase right now or not. As always, I'm going to be giving you answer right away to not waste your time, your precious time. And the answer is this. Hades is absolutely worth the purchase, but as always, not for everyone. Let me explain. Okay, let's start by explaining what Hades is. So Hades is so-called roguelike, but some actually categorize it as a rogue light. And to explain what this means, basically your main goal in this game is to progress as further as possible and then die and then become better and then progress even further. That's basically a short explanation as you can get. Premise wise, you are playing as Zagreus. I'm just gonna call him Zag from now on. You are a son of Hades, the god of an underworld. And you've been locked in this underworld from your birth and your goal is basically to escape from Hades. It's an isometric hacking slash and your goal is basically to go as far as possible, then die, get back, spend some points and resources you got during your run, become better and then try again to go even further. The premise of the game cannot be simpler, but how this game delivers it, it's simply phenomenal. At first you might think that there is not much story because you immediately are plunged into the game and you're just said, just go for it and go and play the game. And you will basically start learning the game as you play. There is no tutorials, there is no preparations for the big thing or for the real thing. You are immediately plunged into the real thing, into real gameplay. And despite there is an actual chance to just complete the game on the first run while you actually started the game the first time, in reality the chances are extremely slim and you will basically die. And when you'll die, the story bits will start to unravel. You go to another run, then you'll die, some more story will unravel, and etc, 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 etc. And by doing these runs, you'll also unlock different weapons. During every run, you'll be bestowed different boons from different Olympian gods, making this game an incredibly deep and rewarding experience. And by the way, every single run will be different because room layouts and enemy variety is changing based on the actual run. You have a few different zones and you have a few different bosses, which will be the same in every single run. But other than that, the runs will be different. So, and, and in many cases, you can actually choose which rooms to progress towards because different rooms give you different rewards every single time. It's actually very difficult to explain how this game feels, but as soon as you play this once, it will be extremely simple and extremely easy to understand. Now, what about the story? Yes, there is a story in this game and it's extremely interesting and fun story that unravels as you progress through the game and as you die over and over again. And technically the game has an ending as well, but in order to actually achieve the full ending, you need to complete the entire game without dying 10 times. So basically you need to complete the game 10 times to unlock everything. And yeah, it's actually, it will take quite a lot of time, but because the combat is very interesting, very fun and very simple to be fair, it will be very interesting. It's actually a very cool experience. But there is one thing that I like the most about the game and its style. Despite being about the ancient Greeks and Greek mythology, the game has very anime style to it and it looks beautiful. Almost none of the characters are actually animated and you are only seeing static images when they're talking, but because the voice acting is top notch and because the character models, the drawings of the actual characters are insanely detailed and very beautiful, it's actually pretty cool to look at. There are not a lot of Western games with this style and it's actually pretty cool to see how they actually implement it in this game. Overall, it's an amazing game, but now let's talk about reality. Why this game is overwhelmingly positively rated and why it's still not for everyone. Well, this game is actually rated that high because as I said, you are immediately plunged into the core game and the core game is insanely fun. And even on a first run, there is actually a chance for you to complete an entire game. Game is not actually hiding this from you. You are actually a pretty powerful son of the king of an underworld or god of an underworld and you're a pretty powerful entity. And that makes the game insanely fun while not making it actually easy. 
and the art style is beautiful. And because absolute majority of the gamers will not be playing the game for more than a few hours, because yeah, not a lot of people actually have a lot of time to spend only in, in one game. This first few hours will be simply perfect. You're gonna have enough variety, enough additions, enough changes just to keep you going and keep you interested and keep you glued to the screen. But don't get this wrong. This is a grinding game. Like almost every roguelike and roguelite, you are grinding for resources to become better. And if you hate the grind, well, you will not, you will start not liking this game eventually. This game is in no way perfect, not because developers didn't try it or just that they didn't do enough. It's not perfect because, well, no game is and not everyone is gonna love it. I loved it. I simply could not find a flaw with this game because I don't mind the grind if it's for the goal. Some people just hate the grind and they just want to go through the story and go to the end as quickly as possible without any obstacles, which in this case, you won't be able to do that. Well, at least not everyone will be able to do that. But now before we're gonna wrap this up, let's talk about the important part, the pricing of this game and whether it's actually worth it or not. The game is available on Steam for the base price of $24.99 for tier one countries and $12.49 for tier two countries. And it can go as low as $16.24 for for tier 1 countries and 811 for tier 2 countries. Yeah, that's some weird numbers, but basically the lowest discount was 35%. Game is also available on Game Pass, and that's how I played it myself. Uh, by the way, I played it on PC. So is this game worth for any of those prices? Well, again, on a Game Pass, this is the must play. You must play this game if you have a Game Pass whether it's on Xbox or on PC, you must play this. This is the must play game for the Game Pass. But now what about the pricing? For a discount, yes, this game is still must play if you don't mind the grind, the reasonable grind, not unreasonable one though. This game does not have grind for the sake of grinding like No Man's Sky does. You don't have this here. You actually have the goal. Your goal is to reach the end of, well, Hades. In this case, it makes grind reasonable and justifiable. If you don't mind that, yes, this is absolutely must play this. If you don't like the grind, or rather you have no idea what this justifiable grind means, then yes, for the discounted price, it's still worth it. I kid you not. This is one of the top-notch games. You need to experience this whether you feel like you will like it or not. Now, what about the full price? Is it worth it for the full price or not? For tier 2 countries, absolutely. It's absolutely worth it for the $12. For tier 1 countries, now it's a bit more difficult. If you like these type of games and you don't mind the grind, it's absolutely worth it, worth it even for the full price. It's 100% worth it even for the $25 tag. But if you hate the grind, absolutely, and you won't, and you cannot stand the grind in any way, shape or form, you might not like that and you have to be ready for this. Again, it's still your money and if you want to spend it and if you want to test it and try it, uh, you can always refund, I guess. But again, as I told before, in the first few hours, whether you hate the grind or not, you will still find enjoyment from this game. The issues or the difficulties for you will start after you're gonna complete the first zone, Tartarus. After that, yes, this game becomes a bit more difficult and a bit more, well, grindy. If you don't like any type of grind, then no, not for the full price. If you don't mind this, then yes, it's worth it even for the full price. So now let's wrap this up. Is Hades a good game? Hades is not a good game. Hades is a great game. It has an amazing style, it has an amazing gameplay, it has pretty interesting and a pretty cool story, and it has amazing presentation. There's not a lot of games, especially from an indie developer, that will match this quality. And it's and this game is simply fantastic for that. The first few hours will be pure adrenaline and a joy that you're gonna experience. No matter whether you like these types of games or not, you will enjoy this in 98% of the cases. That's at least what Steam says. In 98% of the cases, you are going to enjoy it. And in absolute majority of the cases, you're gonna enjoy this even afterward. But remember, not all the games are for everyone and just because I like it or other reviewers or even majority of the world loved it, it doesn't mean that you will love it too. If you have a Game Pass, try it and decide it for yourself and you have a Steam and if you are buying it on Steam, get this, try it for a few hours and see whether you will actually enjoy the future grind or not. If you won't, just go and refund the game. If you like the gameplay and you don't mind the grind, 
then continue and you are going to find a lot of enjoyment from this game. At least as much as I did. Well, I guess this will be it all about the haters. Thank you for being here with me. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like roguelike games? Let me know in the comments down below and which one do you love it? Thank you for being here with me. Like the video, like it, subscribe for more videos like this one and I'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya.